Greetings. Hello, so today I wanted to share my experience of applying to grad school um, for art and MFA programs um, in hopes that maybe this will help any of you guys applying this winter to be accepted next fall. Um, usually priority deadline is December 1st and regular deadline is sometime in January and I've seen some schools like San Francisco Art Institute, they'll take as late as February. So um, yeah, make sure you do your research and see when all the deadlines are and um, make a list and put that all into your calendar. One uh, tip, I guess, would be to narrow down which schools that you would like to apply to because each application is about 75 to 80 dollars so unless you're financially able to apply to over a dozen schools um, i would try to narrow it down to probably three to five schools um, i ended up applying to five schools and was accepted into three of those so Make sure that you know you have like a safety slash backup school, um, but I also wouldn't be afraid, you know, of trying to get into a really good program such as Yale or UCLA. Um, so how I narrowed down my schools were um, based on location, um, their facilities, their faculty, which was really important to me, um, and the art community that I. Uh, was aware of um, in whichever city that I was applying to. So number two would be preparing your portfolio, um, your essays, your CV, your letters of recommendation. Yeah, so I had three very close mentors that I was working with during my undergrad and I met with them very frequently um, to narrow down my works and also finding a space to install my works and get good documentation of those to submit online. Most schools will ask that you have at least three letters of recommendation and make sure that you ask um, these three people or let them know because some you know may be too busy um you may think that you guys are on good terms but yeah sometimes they're just too busy to sit down and write one for you and make sure that they submit it on time to all the schools that you're asking for so yeah make sure you talk to them and that they're willing to do that for you also with your essay as lame as it sounds uh make sure to be really honest as in you know don't try to use big and fancy words by using a thesaurus or something um just Make sure you know you're using good grammar and punctuation, but just write honestly. And um, I feel like the schools can tell how genuine you are from your essay. So don't try to fake it too much. And regarding your CV, um, I wouldn't worry too much if you don't have like. A lot of experience or a long list of juried exhibitions that you've been a part of because my CV was not that great. Um, I did intern at quite a few places so I guess that was good for me and I did have some juried exhibitions that I was a part of but it definitely wasn't anything like too impressive but um, I think it was enough to show that I have an interest um, in participating in these shows and being part of the community. So my number three tip would be regarding the submission process and um, this may be a very duh thing but it really helps if you're organized with all your files and have a folder for each um, university or program that you're applying to and have all the images in each section because some Schools will ask for only 10 images and some schools will ask for 15 to 20 images of your work so make sure that you have a very specific 
to which school that you're applying to and of course with your essays um, I think generally my essay was the same for each school I just changed the name of the school but I and another thing that was important to change within the essays was uh, the faculty members that I was wanting to work with and explaining why I wanted to work with them um, but other than that you know my artist statement and my concerns regarding uh, what I want to make art about and how I want to contribute to the school stay generally the same throughout my essays but yeah make sure each essay is in the right folder and you don't send um, the wrong essay to the wrong school because that would be very bad and the next thing I would like to discuss is regarding the interviews and how I personally prepared for them. So all the interviews that I had were via Skype. Um, even the one school that I applied to in Texas, I had that interview um, over Skype as well. And you know, it's definitely nerve-wracking because a lot of them will ask you if it's okay that they record the interview so that they can go over it with um, fellow committee members and so I don't know that fact made me so nervous that it's gonna be replayed um, all the dumb things I say are gonna be like recorded but try not to think too much about that um, just relax know that they're not going to be so judgmental, you know, they know how nervous you are. What made me feel confident to tackle these interviews was um, I practiced quite a bit with my friends, um, with my sister. I googled quite a bit, you know, like graduate school interview questions and stuff like that. And to be honest, a lot of them that are listed on the internet are the kind of things that they will be asking you. So. I mean, obviously they won't ask you all the questions that they list on the internet, but you can get a general idea and kind of prepare your answers and don't worry to have everything rehearsed and repeat it verbatim. Just have a good general idea and, you know, your answers will just be the honest truth of like why you want to be a part of that program, why you want to study with these um, professors and yeah and um, another main thing they'll probably ask is your willingness to teach because that is a huge part of um, being in an MFA program is that you will be teaching um, intro classes probably um, like in my case I've been uh, TAing so I'm working with a professor for an intermediate photo class but next quarter I will be teaching on my own from then on so and my last um, and final tip is regarding the waiting and the dealing with rejection part um, because yeah I was not prepared for this part at all so it was really hard for me to stay calm and not obsess over every single aspect of this entire process. Um, I kept beating myself up over an interview that didn't go so well or like, oh, I wish I submitted this image instead of that. But you know, you just have to let go at one point and just trust that everything will just fall into place. And also having in mind that, you know, if you're not able to get into any of your programs that you apply to just know that you will have next year and you know the next time that you apply you'll be even more ready and you'll probably have even better works to uh, submit and also the first two schools that I heard from were actually rejections so that was really heartbreaking and uh, it was really hard on me but something that you know everyone around me kept telling me was, you know, not everyone jives with your work, you know? Um, this one person may love your work, but yet another person may hate it. So 
just because not everyone loves your work does not mean that you're not a good artist or that you're not a good student. So make sure you keep that in mind and um, don't let that bring you down because yeah, the first two that I heard back from, like I said, were rejections and it really hurt me. But then the next three were acceptance letters. So uh, yeah. So these tips are not super groundbreaking or anything super new and fresh, but um, during my experience, these are the kind of tips and advice that I got from my mentors and my sister. And it really helped me to stay organized and you know maintain the confidence throughout this process because it's pretty brutal. So. Um, Make sure you're ready mentally and you know professionally to embark on this uh, journey or th this experience, I guess. But yeah, so hopefully some of this is helpful to someone out there who's going through this process. So thank you for watching and um, hope you guys have a good break. Um, Happy Thanksgiving!